dreamstime.com audio. So, hello Ramya. First of all, congratulations on your great success. And as an IGCN, I feel extremely proud when I hear about your All India Rank 24 and 23 gate. It's a huge achievement. Congratulations. Okay. I want to tell you now that I was part of IGC in 2019. I couldn't complete my preparations that year, so I wrote my gate in 2020. uh i got a rank of 118 uh, tried to apply for phd in iit kanpur which was my dream college uh, in aerospace i applied for flight mechanics and i'm currently doing uh, phd in flight mechanics in spacecraft control and then i had applied for a uh, pmr flex i had mentioned uh, in one of my previous sessions i had uh, briefed about that so it was a challenging process but igc has helped since the day i joined the knowledge that i gain from igc is uh, phenomenal like sir always said it's not just to make us better at gate to make us better engineers as a whole so i'm sure it's helped you as well so now what about you tell me something about you okay hey, uh, my name is kapila ramya krishna and i completed my btech in aerospace engineering at shasta university uh, in 2022 and i'm from andhra pradesh uh, so i started my gate preparation in uh, 2022 itself and i wrote gate in 2023 and i got 24th rank in gate that's phenomenal how do you feel with your success with your great achievement actually the first emotion was shock i mean i, I thought that i'll get uh, a rank of below 100 but i didn't expect it to be a rank of uh, 24 so i was shocked and after i came out of shock i was really happy i was happy super happy okay you mentioned that you finished your btech in 22 and you started uh, you wrote a gate right then so what was your motivation to write gate actually my, uh, even from the start uh, for the from the first semester onwards uh, uh, i wanted to join in one of the core companies any of the just just core companies i don't want to join in it companies and all but uh, i don't know due to covid or uh, due to my negligence i i haven't uh, no i haven't Uh, gain much knowledge in my branch so i think mtech is my second opportunity to uh, explore more about my branch and also i think that is the motivation to prepare for gate for me that is great that is great i wasn't so clear about my visions when i joined actually okay so what about your journey like how can you briefly describe right from the beginning of your preparations how you prepared for it and to the result day like your journey okay uh, actually i'm an average student i can say that definitely uh, so at the start of the preparation i was like uh, okay even if i prepare i'll just qualify and i don't get good marks and all uh, i was in in that mindset even in the middle of the preparation i was like that uh, okay i won't get and all but my sister and my mother are they are very encouraged and they they are very super support you and all so i started i started um, understanding the concepts and uh, understanding the basics so i gradually uh, got to know that okay we are going somewhere with it and at the end i i was like okay uh, if i write the exam i can get uh, a, a not not like 24 but i thought like okay i can get like a rank below 100 uh, i thought like that okay, that's great that's great unexpected results are always great so how did you come to know at igc i had come to know about igc through one of my classmates what about you when i when i decided to prepare for gate i googled uh, for uh, coaching centers and all so after searching for long time i got to know about igc and and uh, it has many good reviews too so i just emailed uh, mail to igc and after day or two dinesh sir uh, reached out to me through a call and he explained to me about everything everything about igc uh, and i i got interested and i joined in that okay now to the main question how has igc helped you in achieving this great success Okay, actually, now I have to thank uh, Ra- uh, Rahul sir. He 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 is the one who taught us the uh, strength of materials and fluid mechanics. Yes. And uh, before before the before IGC, uh, I hate uh, strength of materials subject. But after joining it, I I I was like I was in love with that subject. So I just wanted to thank uh, Rahul sir and also all the faculty. I mean, they they really t- teach this from the scratch. So I just. I was super thankful to them too. That is one main point about IT. Say they start from the very very basics and then build your concepts really strongly. Just like your experience, yeah. I used to hate flight mechanics, 
and now I'm doing my PhD in flight mechanics. It's only because of IGC. <laughs> phenomenal, phenomenal teachers. So uh, the problem where I faced in gate was the exam time, the long duration exam time. So I was stressed about that. So ha- has IGC's uh, exam pattern or examinations helped you in any way? How did you deal with the stress of the complete like examination? Actually, IGC has many test series. Uh, I started writing them at the start, but uh, during the middle, I, I stopped writing them. I felt like, I don't know, I stopped writing them at all, but I wrote all the mock tests, which was held in uh, January and February month. So they, they, uh, after writing them, I got to know how to manage the time and all and uh, how to uh, answer the, how, uh, how to answer uh, what questions first and uh, what questions at the end of the exam and uh, and all that i got to know from those mock tests and all so they are very helpful very helpful they built up my confidence from the scratch yeah. zero confidence in writing the complete examination those mock tests were very helpful apart from Mine that too. you like the most about igc apart from all of these yeah i as they, all, they started from the scratch i mean uh, they they didn't uh, start like uh, okay they they would have known all of these concepts with uh, with just uh, teachers something and uh, with more on they didn't just, what did okay. you like the most about igc apart from the points that you mentioned i think i have covered almost all the points i guess but um, the uh, the faculty are very interactive too uh, if uh, if if we keep any questions in the group uh, if the students didn't answer them in day or two they'll uh, they'll directly answer us um they don't uh, let us wait for a long time uh, they uh, maximum wait us uh, let us wait us uh, let us wait uh, as for uh, like maximum two days or something that's it uh, and they'll uh, they'll also they'll answer almost all questions what heads up would you like to give to future aerospace aeronautical gate aspirants i have to say this actually uh, even for, uh, if you are preparing for gate uh, start with aptitude start with aptitude questions and uh, practice them from the start to till the end i mean i did the mistake there because uh, i i didn't prepare for aptitude questions at all i i just uh, uh, i just practiced the previous year questions so uh, that's basically uh, my mistake because i i got like 5 or 7 marks in aptitude that's it so that's my head up to all the gate aspirants to practice wow. gate uh, aptitude questions it's not like that but i have i mean you would have to, at least i i would have gotten 10 marks in aptitude that, that you had practiced that we would have gotten rank in about 10 you would have gotten a better rank that's the great heads up to students have you come across some books that you uh, suggest for them like some helpful reference text for some subjects actually i i i don't think so i have uh, i have followed whatever the igc have recommended uh, i just followed their books i mean they recommended books. their notes okay i followed their notes completely that was the most helpful material because it's like a concise form of all the reference materials it was very helpful finally what is your future plan you told me you wanted to do mtech to solidify your back- background but after that what do you plan to do and what do you plan to do your mtech in what specialization uh, I, my structures have to do wow. mtech in okay. uh, as, I, as i have already said earlier uh, i I, got, i didn't explore more about my uh, course uh, course subject at all in btech so i haven't done a project in btech at all so i wanted to do a better project in mtech uh, so when i look in the uh, when i look back in the future i i should feel like okay i i good i did a good uh, project so i should feel good about the project i did that, that's my future plan i thought about much and what about your dream college where do you plan to apply where do you hope you get it uh, i hope i i i would get it uh, i iisc bangalore but i i think i won't get there uh, so my girl I, i'll join in iit bombay bombay don't don't lose hope i iisc bangalore you can do it you can do it uh, i don't know many have said that uh, only up to like some certain rank only you'll get after certain ra- rank you won't get they so so many people said that so i was like discouraged it's okay but don't don't lose hope apply apply everywhere there is sir had always encouraged us to apply everywhere which is a huge huge motivation for me to apply i would not have applied many of the places that i got selected in if not for dinesh sir so apply every mm. don't lose hope don't give up okay and once again congratulations this is an incredible score all in your rank 24 is huge You should be really happy and hope you. for your future. Thank you, Oscar.